slide player, incredible songwriter, amazing musician all around. I had the pleasure of seeing her at Crossroads back in September before all this quarantine and uh, madness started going around. We played Crossroads with Artur Menezes and uh, it was amazing. Dream come true. We got to see Bonnie Ray, and, uh, Jeff Beck, and Eric Johnson, all these cats. and Bonnie was just on fire with that slide guitar, and I've always did dug that that tune she does. Can't make uh, I can't can't make make you love me. Can't make you love me. I think it's called. So it's originally played on a keyboards, on a piano, and amazing chords and everything going on with that. Again, going back to the chords thing. But I just sat down and thought one day, why can't I put this to a guitar and make a, a really nice, you know, open string chord arrangement so I can get chords like this and cool things going on while mixing, uh, you know, doing a chord melody while mixing. Putting the melody in it. We call that chord melody for anybody who isn't familiar okay so we start up in E major it's normally played in B flat so I'd have to tune down uh, but we're not doing that today so E major and I use mainly the fingers for this too E major 7 so we're coming up with the B major Arpeggio up here on the eighth, uh, not the eighth, ninth, eighth, seventh fret. That position right there. And then we come down the major, E major seven chord. And you're going to have this really cool open E 
based off of this shape. So it's going to be open E, low E, B, F sharp, G sharp. And we do this kind of... Uh, we shift it. So we're down here, and then we put it up here. to the 6th fret, to that D sharp, or G sharp, excuse me. B, with the middle finger, and hit that F sharp and B, uh, F sharp and C sharp that you're barring with this finger. Got it? So, oh, we're up to there. around with our thumb. Get used to using your thumb. And hammer on with your third and your fourth fingers on the fourth fret. Like that. While playing this low G sharp. things in there if you guys enjoy this much we'll go on to the chorus tomorrow's lesson but let's just review one more time make sure the melody is always cutting through fret, A in the D string, and hammer on to the 6th fret with these two fingers. Alright. how you interpret and hear music. You know, everyone gets so caught up in gear and technique and this and that. It, 
doesn't matter, you know. Just learn how to play your instrument. Play good music that's in time, has good touch, good tone, good feel, and you're going to constantly get work if this is what you do for a living. And if it's not, you're going to be that much of a better musician for it, and your friends are going to love it. And if you play to an audience, your audience is going to love it all around. It's better. So, that being said, guys, I'll see you later.